An FD-258 fingerprint card is used for non-criminal fingerprinting purposes like employment or immigration. An FD-258 fingerprint card can be accessed online through the FBI or through any online marketplace like Amazon. Here's how an FD-258 card appears on the front and back side. The back side guides you the basic instructions for filling the card as well as instructions on how to roll the person's prints. The front side has all the areas to roll the person's prints and record their information. First, make sure to clean the person's hands thoroughly. Next, fill in the required fields with a legible handwriting using a blue or black pen. Avoid folding the card and fill in the information before taking fingerprints to ensure the card is nice and clean. To make things easier, each text area has been numbered in green color. The blocks marked with X should be left out. Here are the areas that need to be filled. Fill out the signature of the subject in Block 1, followed by the residential address in Block 2. Block 3 requires you to fill the date of fingerprinting in the MMDDYY format. Block 4 should bear the signature of the person taking the fingerprints. Block 5 needs to be left blank by applicants without an employer. Block 6 requires the applicant to specify the purpose of providing their fingerprints such as work or travel and other. Next is Block 7 that needs to mention the name of the subject in the order of surname, first name, and middle name. Block 8 requires the applicant to enter other names not mentioned in Block 7 or as signature name in the same order of last, first, and middle name. Block 9 is for an ORI number, which is typically used when the person getting fingerprinted has an application that requires an ORI to be recorded on it. Block 10 needs the applicant to specify their date of birth in the month, date, and year format. The country of the subject is to be mentioned in the approved abbreviated form of the NCC code manual or spelled correctly in Block 11. Refer to the sex code table for filling in the Block 12. Block 13 requires reference to the race code table. Block 14 needs the applicant heights to be expressed in feet and inches, such as 504 for 5 feet 4 inches. Block 15 requires the weight to be rounded off to pounds. Refer to the eye color code table for Block 16. Followed by reference to the hair code table to fill Block 17. Block 18 needs the subject to mention their state or country of birth in the same format as Block 11. Both Block 19 and 20 are not mandatory. Requires the subject to mention the originating case agency case number subject to maximum 20 alphanumeric characters and FBI UCN number respectively. Block 21 requires reference to the MNU chart for mentioning the miscellaneous number identifying the subject. And that's it! We hope this video helps clear up confusion on the generic FD-258 fingerprint card. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in learning how to build and grow a fingerprinting business, then just click the link in the description of this video.